beauties <laughs> welcome back to my channel it's so wonderful to be back with you I am love of fragrance and I want you to know that I am wearing this turban for a reason I'm in my relaxing state and it's based on my appearance apparently and that's because I am in quarantine like the rest of the world <laughs> I'm in quarantine, and during the time I'm in quarantine, I am going to relax. Yes, I'm going to enjoy myself, and I'm going to be very comfy. And this makes me comfy right now, so since I'm comfy, it has nothing to do with me being able to produce my videos. So honey, let's get into this video, because today I would like to inform you of some merchandise that... There's reference to fragrances, but it isn't fragrance, but it's associated with fragrances. They happen to be the body gels and the body lotions, which are a subdivision of the standard size fragrances. Majority of these here body lotions and body gels, I acquired them in a fragrance gift, gift set. And I have an accumulated quite a few. And check them out. Quite a few. So therefore, we're going to get into this video because I want to share these with you as well because of the fact that I have one here by Lancome and this here happens to be the Nutris Roll Body Lotion but this one right here was one of those here you know when you go to the store like in our particular area we used to have a high-end department store that had a Lancome counter in it and in that particular store where they sold Lancome they would give away free gifts sometimes based on the amount of expense of merchandise and what you've spent, and you'll be entitled to a gift basket. And so this was one of the first, uh, first merchandise I received in the gift basket, and this raw, this Nutris Roll Body Lotion was given to me, and I loved it so much. I've gone through at least three of the larger containers, but this was the sample that was given. This is the standard size of their sample that they provided to me, and I went back and I invested in the body lotion itself and they are du duplicates but however this here is the one that I, this one was given to me and this is the one that I purchased and this is such a lovely fragrance and it smells just like almonds yes it has an aroma very similar to almonds and when I discovered this lotion for years this was the only lotion that I utilized because I love it so much and I was definitely a very prominent Lancome customer and also I have another one here and this was uh, a Lancome merchandise as well. See Lancome there and Lancome on the bottom of this one right here. And I want you to know this was a body lotion also that came with the Insta La Vie um, standard size fragrance. And when I acquired that fragrance, this was the lotion that was in the gift box package of the gift box that I received. And it's also a beautiful fragrance as well. And it's very, very, very similar toward the Estée La Vie fragrance. It smells identical. If you're familiar with Lancome Estée La Vie fragrance, which was a fragrance I provided to someone a couple of years as a birthday gift, but however, I possessed it one time myself and I loved it exceptionally, but I just want you to know, I think the lotion have um, a distinguishing fragrance toward it as well. It's a lot more powerful than the fragrance itself and that's highly unusual but that's my perception i paused for a minute because i was trying to determine as whether i should say that or not because that's highly unusual it may be just my perception but the fragrance in this lotion uh, happens to be identical to the fragrance and it elaborates itself scent wise excessively and i remember my fragrance but i don't remember having it that detectable on my body. In other words, it wasn't um, very strong. But this lotion is very strong. It's a wonderful lotion, and I highly recommend it to you. <clears throat> Moving right along, I have also here white diamonds. And this one right here happens to be a white diamond. Uh, one's a gel and one's a body lotion. One's a body gel and one's a body lotion. And they're very fragrant scents as well, and it smells just like the Liz Taylor White Diamond Fragrance because, as I indicated before, it was also a gift set. It's a beautiful fragrance. It smells a great, in this particular fragrance, uh, there's an aroma that's a reflection of, I would say more so, of roses and musk. Yes. And 
here I have one by I would go ahead on and say this one well I showed it to you already <laughs> this one here happens to be Mark Jacobs and it's a wonderful suit as well and this here is Mark Jacobs Deckinson yes Mark Jacobs Deckinson right here and I thought I had another one by him but I do not and this one unfortunately yeah, this is body lotion also. I have shower gel like this one, and I remember utilizing it a few months ago. I completed it in the shower, but it has a very elaborate scent to it, very unique, and it's very similar to the Marc Jacobs uh, Deccans and Fragrance Oil, but it has a little, the Marc Jacobs Deccans Fragrance. It's very similar to that, but I want you to understand, this one here has a lot more Gordon scent to it. In other words, the lotion appears to be a lot sweeter and I can tolerate the lotion a lot easier more so than the fragrance. I think the lotion is more appropriate for any time day wear but the fragrance itself I think has a more elaborate exotic scent applied toward it where it has a specific occasions I think applied to it. Many people don't agree with me but that's my perception and also here I have um, which one do I want to show you? I have Calvin Klein Reveal. You might remember me doing a, conducting a video on this particular fragrance as well. This is Calvin Klein Reveal. And I also utilized the gel in the shower on this one. And the only thing I have left is the lotion. And this has a very distinguishing scent as well. I find it to be very floral and very delicate. Nothing really too potent. But it's a nice fragrance as a lotion to wear. And it's very effective. As you can see, I have applied some of these lotions to my skin. And they're very moisturizing as well. And the next one I'm going to go into happens to be... Um, I have one here by... Oh, let's go to our lady. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I have a Calvin Klein Deep Euphoria here. And this is a very wonderfully moisturizing body lotion as well. Majority of your body lotions which you attain with a specific frag fragrance. Yes, the standard size fragrance. Whether it comes in um, a gift box or whether you purchase it outright individually. I want you to understand that that particular body lotion is going to have some similarities as far as fragrance is concerned as the original fragrance itself. Generally, they are identical, but sometimes it'll be a little bit more distinguishing. But this one, I have to admit, this one a lot more distinguishing. And the last one I presented to you was also the Marc Jacobs Davidson. The lotion happens to be a little bit more sweeter, a lot more guard on. So it's a lot sweeter than the fragrance independently itself. But this one right here has more of a scent of, uh, I would say, musk to me. <coughs> And now we're moving on to Vagari. I love Vagari products, but this here happens to be discontinued, which is, happens to be the Rose Essential Oils. And this here entire fragrance line has been discontinued, but it's a beautiful fragrance. And this one consists predominantly of roses, and it has a very elaborate scent of roses, and very potent, and the performance is excellent, and I love the fragrance. But when they discontinued it, I was very concerned about that. But it has a predominantly roses, rose petals in this particular fragrance that's very prominent and it appears to have some type of um, jasmine within this fragrance and it's very elaborate in here as well. And I want you to understand that I have another one here by a company that you may be familiar, you may not, but I think they're still in operation and it's BCB Gemaxeria, BCB Gemaxeria. I always leave off the G. I use this used to be my store. It's a beautiful, um, they they provide beautiful merchandise and the fragrance line was just an addition to what they're already established company. But BCB Maxeria, this here is Bon Generi right here. And this, I think their second fragrance that they discovered for the fragrance line. And I received this one in a gift set. And I also had, this is a lotion, let me see. Yeah, this is a lotion and I also have the body gel with this particular lotion here but unfortunately I utilized the body gel because it was nice I loved it I used it completely in the shower and it left me smelling very 
uh, fragrance when I came out of the shower and then I would layer it with the body lotion but I haven't utilized the body lotion except for because of the fact that the shower gel was very sufficient can you imagine layering with the body gels layering with the lotion and then layering it again with the fragrance honey as far as performance you are going to have substantial fragrance on your body for I would say at least 24 hours if you shower once a day like most people you are good for a full day and this here I highly recommend because this one hasn't been discontinued it's still on the market and we go on and I have here Miss Vera Wayne and this here I received in a gift set as well and also I still have a portion of the fragrance left because I didn't want to utilize it too frequently because it was so nice I was using it excessively oh my god this here is a lovely scent exceptional scent this was given to me Christmas by a dear dear sweet loved one of mine and the fragrance oh god it's so nice it smells like it's some vanilla in here it smells like there's some rose definitely roses in here and it smells exceptionally like there are some pacholis in this one it originates such an elegant scent and the fragrance i mean the lotion right here happens to be almost well i would say identical to the fragrance as a whole and it's a beautiful fragrance recommend this one to you it's still out there get you some highly recommend and I'm going to recommend this one to you as well. And this happens to be Clinique. Clinique is a wonderful fragrance also. And this is, for Clinique has fragrances. But this is a wonderful lotion for its emollient. It's very rich and very durable. But it, this may have come in a good set as well. But it does not, I want, it does not come with a body gel for utilizing in the shower. This is just the lotion. And the lotion doesn't have a fragrance, but they do carry fragrances. But this lotion doesn't have a scent applied to it as a fragrance, but it's very good for a moisturization. And it has a wonderful emollient um, a process applied toward it. And it's very effective on the skin. But I do have a fragrance by Clinique. And I highly recommend Clinique products to you because it's a wonderful brand as well. But it depends on what your preference happens to be in reference to what type of product you purchase from them. I think this was in a gift set and that's how I attained that lotion because I love the fragrant lotions myself. I love them. And here I have a set by, well, it isn't a set. There are two different fragrances that I explained to you in a video before regarding SJP Stash. And that's a very potent fragrance, a very lavish fragrance, very simple fragrance, very elegant fragrance. And I really, really, really do love it. And it's by SJP, Sarah Jessica Parker. And here I have, they classified it as a body cream. And I also have another one of her fragrances here that's by Stash as well. That's the name of her company. And it's by Sarah Jessica Parker. And this one is called Unspoken. Apparently it came out of different product lines. And they're both a body cream. Not neither one of these are a body gel. I've never possessed a body gel, but I do have the hairspray and I have the fragrance. And I am absolutely in love with this SJP. But I have smelled this one before and has a very provocative scent to me. Very provocative. But this one I've never smelled, so I'm gonna smell this right quick. And this one, like I said, my mix SJP. Oh, this one is totally indifferent from the SJP original stash. It has, that's the only name I know of it. It doesn't say unspoken, but this one is unspoken. The other one must be the original. And this one's a lot sweeter. It's more guard on. It isn't as provocative as the other one. This one is, happens to be a lot more gentle and appears to have a lot more floral content applied toward it. And next we have the Bulberry Body. And this right here happens to be a body lotion. And Bulberry Body, this here happens to be a container that came in a gift box with a Bulberry, one of my Bulberry fragrances. And I'm not sure which one, but it says, as you can see right here, Bulberry. And it's a very exceptional fragrance as well. Let's see what the lotion smells like. Mmm, it's identical to the fragrance. Bulberry I think it's called blueberry body but anyways it smells identical to the fragrance and it's very exceptionally lovely fragrance to wear recommend it and next we have a fragrance by oh <laughs> here I have mr. Versace 
Mr. Versace, I have three of them. I don't get along. One of them I purchased individually, and this one happened to be a lotion. And one was a gift set to me, which came with the Versace Yellow Intense. All of them are Versace Yellow Intense. Very elaborate fragrances. And But one of these happens to be the gel, which I have not utilized. A body shower gel. And one also happens to be an additional body lotion. One I purchased myself. These two were given to me with one of the fragrances I have. And they are one of a scent. And I want you to know that these Versace body lotion and body gels are identical scent-wise to the yellow Versace Yellow Diamonds fragrance. Exceptionally lovely. Lovely fragrance. And here I have another one. And this one happens to be by Coco Chanel. And it's a lotion by Coco Chanel. And it's been around for quite some time sitting in my closet because I love me some Coco Chanel. I love the fragrance, but my my preference, my favorite one of all of her fragrances happens to be Coco Chanel Noir. I love Coco Chanel Noir because of the fragrance that it projects, but this here happened to be Coco Chanel Paris because it's from the Coco Chanel, the house of Coco Chanel from Paris. And it's the only lotion I have by them, but it's very elaborate, very, um, I would say classic, <laughs> definitely classic, but it's also Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, the original one, and it's a lovely, exceptionally beautiful, exquisite scent that every woman loves, some Chanel. But anyways, I highly recommend Coco Chanel lotion to you as well because, honey, this is a very alluring scent, but not only that, it's very projectable, and it's also, the performance on it is very exceptional, and you attain exceptional amount of longevity as far as just applying the lotion towards your body. It's very fragrant as well as the fragrance, but you can get away with just putting this lotion on your skin and wearing it as a substitute for your fragrance, and you will attain maximum amount of scent with this as well. Highly recommend it. And the very last one happens to be this little brown baby, gold baby right here. And this here happens to be a fragrant oil lotion, but it's predominantly for spa body therapy. And the reason I recommend it to you because of the fact that, like I said, it's aromatherapy. And this pro product was originated as a fragrance, but it's a fragrant oil. So it's a very efficient for moisturization on your particular skin or on your skin, regardless of what kind of skin you have. It moisturizes your skin and it's very effective when you come out of the shower. It's more an association with a shower gel. So when your body is wet, I recommend the application process then. And I also recommend the fact that, and this is supposed to be a fragrance in itself. And the company only made three of them of different of uh, different fragrances but this one here happened to be a mandarin type fragrance so it smells a lot more orangey and tangerine because it's or it's, it's mandarin and it's a hundred percent hundred percent pure it's a hundred percent paraben free and it's also a hundred percent coloring free even though it has a color this color is all natural predominantly mandarin but it's an oil and it's very healthy for your skin. And out of all the products that I've, lotions and gels and products that I've introduced you to today, I highly recommend that you check them out, attain the lotions independently themselves or the fragrances a body, um, or the fragrances gift box for yourself and utilize the lotion in substitute of the fragrances or layer them all together. Either way, they're very efficient and they're very efficient products and they're very, I would say, fragrant as well and very moisturizational as well. So I highly recommend all of these lotions to you and I thank you very much for tuning in and I thank you very much for subscribing and I ask that you continue to subscribe because I have a great deal more fragrant merchandise I want to share with you because I hope you're enjoying yourself because I am.